good morning uh good afternoon it's 12 33. as usual since we got the vid um i seem to constantly get late starts in the morning i'm just completely unable to have a usual early morning start on anything um bob is the same he gets, he goes upstairs to log on to go to work, but um, it's a chore. Um, we are going to go out and go run an errand. I wanna compare Clover Amore hooks with Dollar Tree um, crochet hooks. In 600 feet. Two. Dollar Tree does have a similar looking crochet hook and um, but they only have three sizes, so the sizes is, are limited. But I'm gonna go drive over to Dollar Tree. There's one in Beaverton that Turn left has them in stock. So we're gonna go do that really quick. And then I've gotta water the plants and do the dishes and all that stuff, so. Yeah. Not gonna plan too much for myself, but I also have to start prepping Christmas cards and write a Christmas letter and print labels and that jazz too, although I'm not going to do that today. I think I might do that tomorrow. And we're too soon. In 900 feet, okay. turn left. Okay, hi guys. So, it is Monday morning, December 4th. It's Monday morning. It is not Monday morning. It's almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon, sorry. Um, I spent the morning getting... Some pictures printed for the travel journal um, book for my sister. So I got all that done. It was quite a lot of photos to go through and pick the ones that would tell a story, which is the whole point of a travel journal like this. Um, so I did that. And I have a few bits and pieces she sent me. I'd like to sort in some sort of rough timeline because, again, that helps tell the story. Um, so we'll see when she's going to get back to me. Um, but the pictures are printed. That was my main focus today. Got that done. Um, so now I'm going to try to edit all the video clips while we were sick with COVID into some kind of vlog or something. Yeah, that's going to be fun. I'll be back. Okay. I got the photos all printed and we're just about ready to start telling a story with all those things from my, the Italy trip with my sister and my dad. Um, I got the vlog for the last two weeks edited into one, um, obviously because I was sick, there's not a lot. It's a short one. Um, there are a couple of projects, well, one project I'm working on in the video, so you can, you can see that. I will get it typed up, as I said in the vlog, as soon as I can. It won't be today. Um... I have a couple chores to do and I got some um, star things hung up in the windows upstairs and down. Now I'm exhausted so I'm going to just sit here while the video renders and get that loaded up tonight and then we're good for a bit. Yeah, I'll be back. Good morning everybody, it's 9.40 a.m. Wednesday, December 6th. I don't think I remembered a vlog yesterday. Um, I did play. get to see the grandson finally for a couple of hours since although we're still recovering, we're no longer contagious. And so I babysat him for a little bit while mommy did some, you know, basics like grocery shopping, which is uh, any of us who've been parents know way easier without a baby in tow. <laughs> um, so I did that. I t did tell her I wasn't up to doing more than a couple of hours because it's still recovering, but yeah, it was good. I have counseling in a few minutes. I've got a cup of coffee next to me. <sighs> While part of me wants to go out thrifting this morning, the part of me that's still recovering is like, you know, mm, no. So I think we'll be staying home. We may go out shopping later, if not tonight, at some point this week, because we still have to get some stocking stuffers. So yeah, but anyway, today I think is going to be using up the rest of the cotton yarn because if you've been watching my social media you know i've made three cotton basket bag things um i'm using at least started using a pattern from yarn inspirations i'll link it down below um because my covid addled brain could not figure out 
like math for this or anything. And so um, it's a very easy pattern and um, I've made three so far trying to use up some cotton yarn stash that I have. And yeah, still, still have enough, I think for like one more. So yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, and then it'll be gone. Um, cotton, cotton yarn's not my favorite. So yeah, anyway, all right. I think that's it. I am going to get ready for my appointment and I'll be back. Okay, it's almost 7 p.m. on Wednesday and Bob is off of work and we're obviously at the grocery store because, you know, with how sick we've been, we need to catch the energy bursts when they happen and make ourselves do occasional things. And I can guarantee you this weekend, we're not gonna wanna go grocery shopping, so we're doing it today. I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna insert a couple pictures here, but as I have said earlier, uh, this week, I've been trying to use up some cotton yarn. Um, it's not my favorite thing to work with, and I somehow had a lot of it despite that. I have tried making one sweater with it. I like the pattern, but I didn't like how it worked out with the cotton yarn. I still may frog that sweater, I don't know, but I used up, I had approximately 3,500 yards of yarn. Approximately. 3,500. Yeah. I will put a picture right here. This is all I have left. And I made four cotton basket bag things from a pattern I found on Yarnspirations um, with all of the yarn that I had. And that worked out great. It's actually a really easy pattern to work on. The baskets are really useful. I do have four of them. I'm not sure I need four of them, but I'm gonna see if the girls want um, one or two. I mean, you know, but uh, yeah. So we use that up, yay. All right, now I have to do chores. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Thursday, December 7th. Yeah, just before 11 a.m. Um, since having the vid, mornings aren't my strong suit. Um, yeah, in fact, this morning I slept in until almost 9 a.m. So I haven't been up that long. Um, but we're gonna go try to run a couple of errands and or just get out of the house for a few minutes. I haven't been thrifting in like a month. Not that I need to thrift for anything in particular, but I might stop by a couple of my favorite places. And yeah, my car is cold, things are squeaky. It's rainy, it's 46 degrees outside at 11 o'clock, which means it's gonna be a cold day. So anyway, we're gonna go try to get a couple things done and then head back to the house and maybe get started on my sister's um, travel journals. So, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Okay, we're headed home. Uh, I don't have the energy to go any, any other places. I was able to stop at my local little resale shop try to go in there like once a week or two. It had been a month because I was sick and they, I knew they were expanding their um, arts and crafts section and yarn. They have really like nice wool yarns for $2 a skein um, because everything's, you know, secondhand. Anyway, I wasn't planning on buying anything, but of course I did. And um, anyway, I was chatting with the ladies at the counter and said, yeah, I'm not contagious, still recovering. And it, just some of the side effects are ki horrible, killer. And she said, yeah, her family had had it a couple of times. And the first time, the only person who got it was her son. And he was paralyzed from the waist down for like a week. And then the second time, he didn't get it, but everybody else did. So, and yeah, everybody I know um, who's had it, like their experience is different. There's very few that are exactly the same. And even Bob and I, and um, yeah, this fatigue can last quite a while, so I just have to learn for the moment to live with it and uh, know my limitations. Right now, we're at that limit. I need to go home, I need to sit down, I need to eat, I need to take some cal my calcium supplements, which I do at lunchtime, and all of that stuff. I was able to finish buying stocking stuffers for my Secret Santa person for our family Christmas. 
I was able to pick up a couple of things for Bob. I got some more wrapping paper and some bows. Um, I have to drag some of the gifts that are downstairs upstairs sometime today, but not right now. Um, so let's see if I can get Bob to help me with that. And, or outside or something. Or, uh, by outside, I mean the garage. So anyway, yeah, I think that's it. My brain and my whole body is just like on overload. And what we're discovering is in the mornings, I'm like this, I'm just like dragging. Me getting myself out this morning took, is taking great effort. Um, but at night, I'm semi-okay, not 100%, but semi-okay. Um, Bob is the opposite. In the mornings, he's all right, but at night, he's like dragging, so. Oh, I also hit a Joann's yarn sale, which wasn't marked anywhere, wasn't advertised anywhere, and yet I got a good, I shouldn't have bought yarn today, but I did. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, more projects to make. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Why are there so many cars? It's hard to get down the street. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so it's Friday, December 8th, I think. Um, it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I have Junior, you're going to hear him in the background. And um, babysitting for a couple hours, that's about all I'm up to. The kids are coming over for dinner tonight, but they're all helping make dinner. Um I did a little bit too much yesterday and then felt like crap the rest of the day. So, yeah, that's fun. Recovering from the vid is always a blast, right? So, anyway, I will get some crocheting done later tonight and stuff like that. But for the moment, we're concentrating on the grandson because, you know, yeah. Got to put your priorities straight. All right, I'll be back. Thanks for having me. Hey, guys. So, it is 8 o'clock Saturday, December 9th. Did I vlog this morning? I have no idea. We're going to chalk it up to COVID brain because I'm extra forgetful right now. Let's see, uh, we're having better days um, than we've been having, um, but we're not 100% better. Um, we have bursts of energy that sometimes last a few hours and then we come home and sit down and like he passed out for I don't even know how long on the couch. About an hour. Yeah. Um, me, I started to get nauseous and dizzy. So it's just, it's very weird. The vid is very strange. Anyway, it's been a good week despite that. We got to finally see Junior, yay. Um, yeah, we babysat for a bit and that was great had dinner with the kids they all came over last night that was good mm -hmm. um we did get some christmas shopping done today yep we might actually be finished and just need to wrap things i'm not actually 100 percent on that but maybe Man. um so we're doing good we're getting there it's slowly but surely anyway i hope you guys have had a good week if you've had the vid I hope you've, you've recovered with no bad side effects and I hope you're doing good because it's not fun. Anyway, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And yes, we're watching Expedition Unknown. Yes. Yeah. Uh, one of our favorite shows, that and Wii TV? We. We TV. No. Me? We. Is it we or me? Me, it's me. Me, me TV? TV? Yeah. It's a, anyway, it's a classic TV channel. Um, if I can find a link for it, I'll put it down below for you. But they have all the old TV series and the old movies and Vincent the Price. 60s and 70s and actually down to the 50s too. Yeah, it's really great. We really love it. I'm not a huge TV watcher, but even I like watching it. Anyway, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And if you have any particular videos that you'd like to see, 
you can DM me or you can leave something down below. I have a happy mail address down there. We've got a Patreon and private conversations with me, monthly posts from me for you guys with downloads that you can use in your artwork and all of that stuff. So check out the video description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Most importantly, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.